first tonight, a walk to raise awareness of gun violence in Charlotte comes just hours after multiple violent scenes break out across our area, including one that injured multiple people near where the Taste of Charlotte Festival had just wrapped up for the night just hours before. Thank you for staying up with us here at Queen City News after the game. I'm Maureen Wirtz in for Robin Kennedy. Queen City News reporter Shakira Speaks heard from participants today about their mission. My son Marcus Gerard Mosley was robbed and murdered on September 29th, 2020. On that day, Tina Mosley became a gun violence survivor. So one weekend a year, Mosley and other activists and survivors wear orange to raise awareness about their fight to save lives from gun violence across the nation. It's not just specific to Charlotte, it's across the country. Uh, gun violence is the number one cause of death of children in the United States. The number one cause of death of children ages 1 to 19 in the United States. The organization works to educate gun owners on how to properly store their firearms to keep away from children to prevent accidental shootings and suicide. This year, the Charlotte chapter held a walk for gun violence. We have got to be honest with ourselves. We have got to be honest to identify people in our communities. We have got to be honest to love them enough to turn them in to save someone else's life. We have got to love them enough to stop fighting the criminal justice systems to keep them out of jail when they should be put in jail and kept in jail because they are murderers, they are drug dealers, they are thieves, they are every single thing. Around 10 o'clock Friday night, Gaston County police responded to a shooting where two people were shot. One later died from their injuries at the hospital and the other is in stable condition. Charlotte police are investigating an overnight Saturday shooting near North Tryon Street that left four people wounded. At least three have life-threatening injuries, and one person was transported to the hospital after they were shot in Northeast Charlotte Saturday morning. It's saddening because we come here, you know, with the will of God, reaching out to the people who need help, and it makes it more difficult to reach out to those who really need the help when things as such go on in our community makes me feel horrible and it was two this morning tonight it may be six this hour at three o'clock it may be more it's an ongoing thing every single day someone is being killed by gun violence and unfortunately so many of them are being killed by young black men who are doing it so another mother is crying tonight another family is totally broken tonight reporting in charlotte shakir speaks queen city news